All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to tonight's stream. Let's see what's going on. Why is it taking forever to start up? Weird. Okay. Um. Nope. to fix this screen stuff. I don't know why this game is like checking for updates and it's like, bro, bro, this, this thing better not take forever. I'm, I'm telling you right now, it better not take forever. It's like they, you download a whole game for 100 and something gigabytes and it's still downloading stuff. It's like it better not take that long, bro. I'm telling you right now. I'm not going to sit here and wait for when this game wants to decide to be a video game. That's what I'm saying, man. It's like this whole downloading stuff for video games is stupid. So I remember I could just go and just plug in the game and just start playing it. I'm telling you right now, it better not start with that crap. What's up, bug? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to play it tonight. I don't know how long I'm gonna play it though. I might play it for maybe a game or two, but I've been seeing everybody else play it, so I'm like, nah. Let me go ahead and see if it's playable. The rate they look in this life is gonna be taken. What, what's the issue now? Like, dang, man, can I just play a game, please? Jesus, it's like, hey, always a game just like, oh, let's we gotta install this. Oh, now you gotta install that. Now you gotta watch the thing load up. This is why I lose interest in playing video games sometimes. I'm like, I don't even care no more. Right, it was so fun. That's chill. That's chill. Yeah, usually I, <clears throat> excuse me, out uh, here in Washington, I'm like the fair. They usually come at like maybe like I think like towards the like the, like well like towards the end of the summer. But I know it's like because I remember when I was in school, they would give us like free tickets to go. So like it usually be in the beginning of the school year, but definitely like like the final few days of the summer. What's up, Toast? Yeah, I might not play Warzone because if it's gonna be installing crap, I'm I'm not I'm not here for it. Cause I, I came here to play a video game. I ain't come here to watch stuff install. How's it going? It's going good. I just wish games would not be stupid. Hold on for a second, cause Okay. Now that's actually. No, I didn't want to do that. I clicked on the wrong thing. Can I go back? Nope. Dang. All right. Shouldn't spend that. Yeah, let's see what this is all about. I. No. Um. I'm sorry. But if this, my thing is, is this, I have my computer on for 
a, a good amount of time to play Warzone. And if the game is going to have all this downloading process just to have it where I still got to download more stuff, bro, I have no desires on playing that game. None whatsoever. That's just dumb. It's like you install a game and install it for what reason? Like, I didn't want to play that either. I don't know why I start that up. I'm going to have to exit out of that. No, nah, it's stupid. It's like, that doesn't even make any sense. I'm like, I feel like that's like rage that makes it make sense. If it was just random rage, I understand. But like, it's just stupid. It's like you download a game, but then you got to download more. I, I don't, like, that's it's just like video games today are just stupid, bro. People swear up and down. Oh, yeah, this, like, this is the best game of all time. It's like, I, I play this all the I'm like, I, I just don't get it, man. It's like it should not have you shouldn't have to like download the game and then download some other why did not just download all together? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like all I'm trying to do is just play a game and it's like you gotta have to you have it where I gotta like download like numerous things just to play a game. It's like I'm gonna tell y'all right now. They they come out with an uh um well yeah with Modern Warfare 2. They better not have all that in there. It's like whatever you guys is doing during the Xbox 360 era, that's what y'all need to do now. Alright, made a rage compilation. I haven't made one in a while, but I had I remember I made one like years ago. I just need to like sit down and go through all my streams and uh like a bunch of different videos. Like honestly, if I think if I sat down and just, you know, overall like went through all my different videos, like I definitely could have like uh, good, probably, probably a good hundred videos, like, lined up, just, like, compilations. So yeah, I remember I made that video a while ago. Wait, do I what level? Oh yeah, I have to be like a level ninety, I think, to get that last pressure washer. Half a decade. Yeah, it was like today. It was like it's been um over a decade. It's been twelve years since I've had my uh, main channel. I created my main channel on uh, August 3rd, 2010. It was like right before I started my uh, freshman year of high school, I created that channel. I actually had another channel prior beforehand, but I deleted the email, so it like it locked me out of that account. And I'm like, dang, bruh. So I probably would have, it probably been like July something, but because I deleted the original or the email to that account, and then there was all like, if you don't have an email, then you can't sign in. Then eventually, because YouTube at one point, YouTube had deleted, they would delete accounts if they hadn't been uh, active for a long period of time. 
so now there are so i think like y'all also if like if people ain't signing into it into those accounts too so i think i looked up one day and that account was gone i was like dang man <clears throat> but i think all the videos i upload on that channel i ended up uploading that suck yeah but all the videos i upload on that channel i think i had uh re i had re-uploaded them it was just like videos of me playing uh grand theft auto 4 so it wasn't um, like a, a big loss. Hey, what's up, Beast Blood? Yeah, my main channel. I'm like, I ain't been through some things with that main channel. It seemed like it'd be like if you have all oh, bread, like the right friends, and then like you just y'all just out here just cleaning up. But yeah, I would, I definitely would. I, I probably if I wasn't doing content creating, I definitely would take a job like that. <clears throat> it'd be like the jobs that be looking like mad boring. Like, cause I know people will probably look at this and be like, oh, this is so boring. But like, if you have, if you're doing it with friends or people that you cool with, then yeah, I think it can work. Take that job. Would he? I'm like, that'd be a, be odd. Just look up one day and like he quit YouTube to take up a job like this. But you never know. There'd be some YouTubers they'll be all like, oh no, it's like YouTube ain't my passion. I just got good. I was just good at it. But then they'll be all like, oh, I want to be like something like they just be like something completely different. Let's power watch simulator. Do it for a bit. Oh, he plays this too. It won't, honestly, it don't surprise me. As big as this game was when it was coming out, yeah, it don't surprise me that bigger content creators is playing this. They must have a ton of recoil. You so after you. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, that's why it's like you could tell it's just only a video game because this ain't even like the high power like pressure washer. Like, if this had been real life, I would probably have been, like, all like this and stuff, talking about, bro, I can't, I can't control it, like. So, yeah, I'm like, either my character is, like, a crackhead or a former crackhead, turned, like, um, you know, professional pressure washer, or he just works out a lot. He has, like, a strict diet to where he can put up with a job like this. What's up, Illy?
I forgot the roof of this place. I like put, put attachments on it. Yeah, this thing it has like a like a extended uh like hose thing. It's helpful too. Where's the ladder at? Yeah, like he can't walk up ladders and crap. So upset how annoying this game is to play on console and how PC make it look super easy. Yeah, bro, I, I strongly recommend like playing this with an um mouse and keyboard. It's like you playing it with a uh, controller, like it's gonna take way too long. Like, I played it with a controller. I'm like, it is not. Even if you got, like, some, like, modified controller, whatever, and stuff, like, it's still gonna be stressful. Dang, man. I really forgot about this rooftop. So hype when you told me this is on console and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I was hyped for it too when it um was coming out on console. And then when I'd seen how slow it is on controller, but I heard there's another game that's like that. It's that game because I remember I bought it on um on uh console, but uh the cooking simulator. And I remember playing that how slow that mouse was, and I was, or the um like looking thing is, or the sensitivity. And I'm like, nah, I can't play this. The sensitivity is just way too low. Different aim labs. It, it, it is, honestly. Like, I never sat, sat down and thought about that, but I'm like, this game would be, like, pretty good, like, working on your, like, aim and making sure, like, you get the spots that you need to get. That's probably why, because I remember playing this, and then I, like, started playing games like Call of Duty Zombies. I feel like my aim did get better in that game, or just in PC shooter games in general. Playing Lawnmower Simulator, he says it's fun. Maybe playing Fire Simulator console. Yeah, uh, Lawnmower, the Lawnmowing Simulator, that was a good game. I did play a little bit of that at one point. What's up, Too Quick? But yeah, uh, Lawnmower Simulator is chill. I think I played the Farming Simulator, like, once. And that was about it. I think I only played it just to make a video on it, and after that, I was like, yeah, I'm good. Maybe it's better on PC. I think they did recently have it come out on the Game Pass on PC, so I might try it out. So it looks hard. Yeah, because they, they have it where you got to clean this whole building. That, like, practice um, building, because this is, like, supposed to be a fire department. And then, where's the ladder at? Try it one called Construction Simulator. They seem complex. I might try that out one day. And then you got to clean this whole rooftop. Doing, but I'm doing good. Chilling for the most part. Cleaning buildings as usual. This ain't even the hardest uh, level. Wait till y'all see the train station. It's like you guys thought the, um, these other levels is hard. Nah. Train station is by far the hardest level in this whole game. That train station is no joke. I never saw it. I had to wait until it gets to that level, but it's not something that you just choose. Unless I like go and play this off of my Steam account. And this level. I think they just call it, um, fire department. They don't really, like, focus too much on names. They're just like, oh, clean this car, or clean this fire department, or this building.
Yeah, I'm like, this game, they don't really focus too much on, like, level names and stuff. But, yeah, it's like, you'll, you'll, no, I think, what was some other, no, nah, I think for the most part, like, that train station one was just the hardest. I was trying to think of some other missions, but I'm like, even the last, the last mission was kind of, like, low-key weak compared to that train station. The train station should have been the last level. New game that you enjoy it, they released this year. Um, I'm trying to think. Because I'm kind of like on and off with games or maybe last year. Last year, there hasn't really been no games that like stuck out. That was like, oh, I'm a big fan of this game. I had to like go through and check on them and stuff. But there have been games where it's like I played them because it's just easy to play. But they're not like my favorite game. This is like the only playable game at the time. Like, dang, bruh. I didn't realize how much of this I had to clean. And I gotta clean these too? No? Alright. At least I cleaned this, like, front part of it. I feel like I got through that pretty fast. I feel like this is, like, an easier way of, like, cleaning. You just gotta, like, get real low to the ground and then just kind of, like, windshield wipe. Uh, surfaces and stuff. Fall Guys coming to Xbox has been fun. Day 2K was fun for a while. So probably the only new games I enjoy lately. Like Fall Guys hanging you know, new. So I'd say W2K just got boring fast. Yeah. Yeah, like, Fall Guys is chill. Fall Guys is a chill game. Um, 2K was, uh, WWE 2K was chill. A long day of work. Yeah, I think if this game would have came out while I was uh, working in Seattle, I'm like, it definitely would have just been one of those like mind relaxing type games, something to just play, listen to some music. My rise. If I feel like playing WWE, but I'm like, I don't particularly feel like playing that game no time soon. So I usually just play whatever on my streams. Like, I don't, like, set up schedules and stuff. R. Control, V, control. What does that mean? Copy and paste. Pretty well, yeah, pretty much. I mean, well, this last WWE 2K game. Short. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like they, yeah. WWE though, like this last one was, um, it was actually good. I say, 2K on the other hand, like or NBA 2K, like it's just, yeah, that's definitely a copy and paste. Yeah, that's definitely a control C and control V. Like add like one um sweat droplet to LeBron James's forehead, then they call it a day. Add like one new building in uh um then the street mode or whatever they call it. Yeah. Maybe if they added some different things. I know they're coming out with an AEW uh, wrestling game. I can't wait for that to come out and see what that's going to be like. And THQ is going to be behind it. Because THQ did the uh, SmackDown vs. Raw games. So I know this next AEW game is going to be good. It's my rise, though. No, uh, I just was like, it just kept doing the same thing over and over. So I was like, I just didn't care for playing it. Like, unless they came out with, like, some big update or something, that'll be the only time I'll play it. 
played 32, 2K19 as well. Of uh, NBA or WWE? They had a wrestling game. Oh yeah, I remember they like they were promoting it briefly, but it was like TNA wasn't really that big of a company though compared to WWE. And this was at the same time when like the SmackDown versus Raw games was coming out. I'm like, nah, that's not gonna work. Or it might have been, it might have been after. I don't know exactly when the um, games had came out, but still, I'm like, that's not gonna work. NBA, yeah, NBA um, 2K is just yeah, there there ain't no differences between them. Like, maybe from, like, the old uh, um, 2K uh, games, but not from the new ones. Crouch. Yeah, it's like, you just only got, like, you got to, like, do, like, the windshield wiper treatment. Next thing you know, you can clean this whole rooftop. Like, before, I was just, like, standing and doing this, but I'm like, no, that's taking too long. Played the TNA game. It was disappointing. Thought it was going to be fun. Yeah. I didn't really... I wasn't really a fan of um, TNA. I heard now they're chilled, but back then, I just didn't particularly care for them. Then I seen that they had a game. I'm like, hmm. Midway game. Oh, I heard of Midway games. They don't usually make uh wrestling games, so yeah, that's probably why it wasn't good. Cause that that company don't usually make wrestling games. So graphics, yeah. NBA 2K, I'm like, yeah, they only focus uh like mainly on the graphics, but gameplay they don't focus on that. I'm like, yeah, it's dope that LeBron James looks like LeBron James, but can he play like LeBron James? Like, don't just make him just play like some old like basic shooting guard. Like, no, can he actually be LeBron James? I love TNA back in the day until around 2012. They started trying to copy dirty storylines. I felt and they never was on consistent channel. Yeah, like because at one point they was like on uh, which call it um, uh, Spike TV. And then they changed it to a different channel. Then they changed to a different channel. I don't know what channel they're on now. I'm like, bruh, y'all need to make up your mind. Played Black Ops 2 on my PS3. It took me two games to find an aim bother. Yeah, it's like games like that. It, it's just, it's not overall good playing online. Because people, they're only playing it just so they can go like, oh, I'm better. I Because I got this. And it's like, you're really not, but... Yeah, you're going to get your cheaters on those games. So that's why I'm like, it's games like, it's best to just play the newer version. You won't deal with as much. Too. Well, then again, then people cheat now in the uh, Warzone, freaking every other Call of Duty. I remember once they tried to move in Monday nights to bring back Monday Night Wars type of... That, that was, that's not going to work. I didn't even know about that. I'm like, that's definitely not going to work competing with Monday Night Raw. I'm like, you guys can't even compete with, like, uh, freaking WWE superstars. I'm like, now you guys are trying to compete with Monday Night Raw? It's like, nah, that's not gonna work. I'm like, sorry, but, and like, zombies after that. Yeah. Black Ops 2, there's zombies in there was pretty good. I played it for a little bit. Rob be SmackDown most times, the Survivor Series. I never really paid attention. I can't even begin to remember who won and lost at those Survivor Series. Prime TNA when they had AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Kurt Angle. Some other guys is pretty good. Now look, Samoa Joe is in AEW. He was with WWE. They could have did some things with them, but... I'm like, I feel like that ship then... Well, then again, I feel like... I feel like he possibly could come back. 
I feel like those guys that are like with AEW right now, they could possibly come back to WWE now that Triple H is uh in charge. Bragging rights pay per view. Did he try to do? I remember. Yeah, I remember that. I don't remember what it was about, but I just yeah, I remember that um, pay per view name. What does anybody really know what NBA means? National Basketball Association? Is that like the question you're asking? Unless it means something else. Like, you mean like NBA Young? No, yeah, because NBA Young Boy, his is like never broke again or some dumb stuff like that. Killed Brock Lesnar to Coquina Clutch. Left with my eyes. So, let's go with that man. Yeah, it's like he. I feel like if anybody could have, like, beat. Because I don't know. Like, I, I don't mind uh, them having it where uh, Drew McIntyre beat Brock Lesnar. But I feel like Samoa Joe would have been a good fit. But I don't know. Brock Lesnar might have, like, a pride thing. And he like, nah, let me let. Let's let one of the new guys do it. I don't want somebody that's been in the game for a while beating me. It's the one of the biggest every pay-per-view flops in y'all opinion. I never understood the purpose of bragging rights because Survivor Series is also a thing. Oh, it was the same thing? Um, I feel like, oh no, Roadblock. That's the pay-per-view that they tried to have like right after uh, the, the Elimination Chamber and then right before WrestleMania. I feel like that's like the because they only did like what two three of those pay-per-views in my opinion that was the worst one much love to be honest i like uh samoa joe when he was in wwe i didn't have a problem with them i wish they had just like booked them better but i think he's injured uh now at aew because i haven't seen him in a while i'm like dang bro um forever getting injured i'm like dang man But wrestling is a crazy, um, like, sport, though. So, then again, I'm like, yeah. This is character development. They really, they used, with Vince McMahon, I feel like, was in charge. The uh, character development wasn't even a thing. If you wasn't an old wrestler, there wasn't going to be no such thing as character development. I feel like for a lot of the new guys, it was just, they just had them there for a couple of shows just to fill in time, and that was it. Remember they had that championship scramble match back in the day too. I don't remember that one. I just remember Roadblock and I was like, why are you guys having you have a pay-per-view already before WrestleMania? Why have another pay-per-view? Like honestly, I if they had it where I was like a, in charge of like the pay-per-view uh matches and bookings and stuff. Uh Elimination Chamber, how I would do it is that Elimination Chamber would happen right before the Royal Rumble. And then the Royal, then of course Royal Rumble, and then it leads into WrestleMania. But I just never understood like the placement of pay per views at that. Like SummerSlam makes sense, WrestleMania makes sense, but then all the other ones, it's just kind of like they don't really make sense. Yeah, yeah, I think Triple H is gonna do pretty good with WWE. I cleaned that. That's clean. This whole time, we've been these other rest of the beat Roman is just Logan Paul. If Logan Paul beats Roman Reigns, I I don't see that happening. I I just I do not see that. I think they'll have a match, but they're not gonna have it where he gets over. Unless he's like fully committed to WWE, but I just I don't know. I I don't that I don't see. Nothing, yeah. It's like a five man championship match, right? Last 30 minutes. 
and pan the fan fall submission temporary champion last minute to be champions the new match that seemed like that's that's too complicated i'm like dang bro just have like a regular old match i see drew defeating roman either then again i'm all like people probably were saying the same thing with uh him and brock lesnar so let's see what happens Yeah, that was just too complicated. It's kind of like, what's the uh, the one match? Oh, dang, I can't even think of the name of it. Like, there's like a certain match that they do, uh, a gauntlet, a gauntlet match. And they have it where it's like the person, it sounds kind of like that a little bit. See, that could be Roman in the future is Cody Rose and Austin Theory. I definitely don't see Austin Theory beating Roman Reigns. I see him maybe uh, waiting until Roman Reigns is like down and out and injured and then cashing in his champ. That would be the only way, but not not this Roman Reigns. Not Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. Brock contract still going until 2024, I believe. Oh, that's chill. Weird match types. Yeah. Yes, yeah, WWE for you. They just be doing weird things at times. I feel like now with Triple H, I feel like he kind of knows like what's weird and what's not weird. And I feel like that WWE, I feel like with Triple H, I feel like it's in good hands. Remember the Inferno match? I honestly thought the Inferno match, like it was solid. Where it's like they had like the fire around the ring. I thought that was a pretty cool match. Well, at least the first one that they did with um, Kane and Undertaker. I did like that one. I didn't really see any of the other ones. Don't look like it can happen right now. Uh, Austin Theory beating. Yeah, I don't. I don't see that. Sounds like we new WWE. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, if he beats Roman Reigns, then they must be, they really, I don't, I like, I don't know, because a lot of people are saying that, that they think that his push is going to just kind of be halted, or that he his push is gone now because of Triple H. Because Vince McMahon was really trying to push that dude to greatness, and they, people are all like, oh, now with um, Triple H in charge, they don't think that's going to happen. You could get a strong character development in the future. Yeah, in the future. But for now, he's still kind of like... He's like a freshman in high school. Triple H is bossy. How is he bossy? What has he done to show that he's bossy? Where's that... Um, every time when I hear people talk on Triple H, they always say good things about him. He don't come off as a bossy person. Remember the Seth Rollins and Danny Bryan rivalry and Triple H just trying to bring them down. Emboss them around. Was that like a part of the script or was that like some real life backstage stuff? I used to think Hunter was his real name back in the day. Isn't his like his middle name? Like his name's like Paul Hunter, like Levisky or something like that. Or whatever his, however you pronounce his last name. Part of the storyline, yeah, but it's like he doesn't come off as like bossy, like in real life. I'm talking like, like you know, actual like real life Triple H. Yeah, screw like store um like uh, TV Triple H. Yeah, they're gonna have it where he plays probably some guy like that. But 
as far as I hear, it's like everybody backstage, like, they always say good things about him. Michael is his middle name. Is it really? Hold on for a second. No, I need to c confirm this. Wow. His, there is no Hunter in his. Honestly, WWE, it don't even surprise me. It don't even surprise me. Like, WWE, they, they always doing that to people. I thought his, like, middle name was, like, Hunter or something. I'm like, that man. Them wrestlers be lying about their names, bro. Wait, wasn't there like a small building? Yeah, there's a small building up here. Last minute standing match between Brock and Rome is crazy. Kept getting up. Yeah, and it's like freaking uh lifting the ring up. I'm like, hey yo, I'm like they try to make some moments though with WWE. What would they have your wrestling name be? Probably it'd be something that don't make no sense. They're all like freaking like let me think of something. They're all like it'll probably be like Alex Taylor or something. They're gonna be all like Alex them like then people look my name up and they be all like bro his his name is actually Tyler and where where'd the Alex come from? Probably say you're Steve or something. Steve, I do not look like a Steve. I definitely don't look like no Steve. Maybe if I was like uh like the same size as uh like of a like a two three hundred pound wrestler or something like i honestly i had to look like um like no uh, steve austin himself i feel like steve in wwe it's only gonna be reserved for stone cold steve austin i think roman is the longest reigning champion of this yeah probably saying because you got glasses I don't know too many Steves with glasses. I got first thing that comes to mind wrestling and Steve is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, I'm like, Steve just doesn't. I don't even know how I would feel if my name, like, if they did give me that. Thought of. I'm like, that name is just way too generic. I'm like, they better give me, like, a nickname, like, the, like, just, like, something, something else, something other than Steve. Steve ain't gonna work. It's stupid. Oh, yeah, because there was, like, before it was, like, Austin Theory, now it's just Theory. And they did that with, uh, some other people. And I'm like, they'll probably eventually, at some point in time, change it back. Nah, I feel like he's established his uh, name in WWE. I definitely don't see them just uh, shortening his name to Reigns. Just, just be Moss. Honestly, I wouldn't have a problem with that. If there was all like, if my name was Moss, like I would not, because I've been um, called. There's been people that I know that just call me Moss. I had like teachers in school that just um called me Moz. There was a PE teacher I had and that's that's the only thing that he called me. I understand parents they give middle aged guy's name. I'm trying to think of like of some like old like names. I don't know, like I for the most part I can't really think of no names, but you see your name 
Reigns. Yeah, I don't see them uh, changing Roman Reigns' name. Maybe if he just started, but not not now. I see them maybe giving him more of a Samoan name, but definitely not uh, shortening his name. See when the undisputed tag team championships. I want uh the street profits to uh win them. That's who I want to win. Um, who I want to win, but the rate that it's going, I'm like it probably just gonna have it where the Usos they just uh keep holding them. I really don't can't think of no tag teams right now that can I see winning them. Maybe those uh those Viking guys, probably like the Viking Raiders. Or like Tyron, uh, no, nah, but there was a teacher. She, um, there was a, some teachers that like mistakenly called me Taylor. Then there was the one teacher that called me Terry, and I was like, bro, I, I don't know how many times I had to tell the one teacher, I'm like, I'm not Terry. But Randy Orton taking all that comeback he injured. Yeah, because I think he had like a back injury. Them like um them see like serious injuries. Like, yeah, you're gonna have to like definitely take some time off. So yeah, Randy Orton gonna probably be out for some uh months. I definitely don't see him coming back, especially from no back injury. Why can he not just climb the ladder? Just go straight up. That's it. Such an old man name. Yeah, that's why I was like, that teacher, I'm like, she, every time when she would say that, and I'm not like, fam, who is, I was like, nah, who is this Terry kid? Because she claimed it was because I, I guess I looked like some kid named Terry. And I'm like, I promise you that there is not one kid in this school that looks like me and their name is Terry. I'm like, I, I promise you that. So I'm like, I think that teacher, she was just, she was just having a moment. Or maybe like. 10 15 years ago when she started and she's just suffering from memory loss or something like I don't know but it, something like that but I think um it might it might be another reason why his bad guy injured that's clean that's clean Is he too old? He's like, I think 40 something. He ain't that old. Like, he's still wrestle. It ain't like he's doing like crazy stunts and stuff. He's named after his dad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I'm like, I, I don't know too many Terry's. What is going on with the ladder, man? I'm not playing this because it's like he always getting caught up and stuck on some ladders. Play dirt for. So at least I ain't got to worry about getting stuck on no ladders. Let me see you heard a kid named Terry. I'm like, yeah, only Terry I know is Terry Crews. I'm like, that's the only Terry I'm familiar with.
I heard about Terry Crews in a while. I think I like see him on time, like from TV on time, from time to time. But that's about it. Time. Oh, uh, there's. I was saying that earlier that there's a compilation that I had made a while ago where I was like going off on some video games. I have to say now I'm like I really don't be uh, um, raging on uh, games. Compared to like how I was back then, I'm like back then I'd yell. I'm like now nah, it's just I just turn the game off. I'm like nah, ain't gonna get me caught up. Don't cut. Yeah, everybody hates Chris. In most movies and shows, he's just a buff guy. He actually was, if you, um, if you, I don't know if you, uh, well, I'm pretty sure you've seen the movie Training Day, but he was, like, one of the, like, gang members in the background, and I think that's, like, where he got his, like, big break in Hollywood was from that movie. And then, of course, uh, like, then a few years later, he did White Chicks. I think he did some other stuff beforehand, but... Watch Terry Crews since everybody hates Chris. It's not seeing a commercial and stuff like that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, everybody hates Chris. That is definitely, like, the peak of his career. White chicks, too, yeah. Yeah, he killed it in both White Chicks and Everybody Hates Chris. I have to say, that's probably some of his best work. Training Day, though, like, he didn't even have no lines in Training Day. All he just had to do was just stand in the background and look angry. Tripping on Kevin Hart as a comedian. Honestly, I don't see anything wrong with Kevin Hart. I know a lot of people get on him because they're all like, oh, he's annoying. I see him everywhere. I honestly think that's good for him. That man's trying to make his money. It's like, you can't knock a man down for trying to make his money, so... Though the uh the rally the passenger person yeah yeah she be going off with um like overall talking and stuff I don't know if the other dirt games are like that like dirt rally and stuff but yeah in here she be going off Kevin Hart favorite comedian yeah Kevin Hart be killing it I know like people they be hating on him for stuff and I'm like I don't particularly care I think he's you know I think he's doing good with what he's doing. Man's making his money. It's like can't get um get on him about that. It's like people, if they were in the same shoes, they'd be doing the same thing. Thing is, it's like, I don't even see how it would get lost. I'm like, just all I gotta do is follow the road. I'm like, it ain't like that there's like a whole lot of different turns. It just, they only got me going like on a one way road. And it's just like, I mean, it ain't straightaways, but. It ain't like, it's a whole lot of stuff to turn into. trees yeah it's like games like this it takes a lot of practice so she's saying not paying attention she's like overall like because with rally racing i guess like there's she's like just overall let me know like when i'm hitting bumps stuff like that water splashes turns all that stuff but she's like add more to it instead of just saying like you know it's like oh turn slightly right turn slightly left like she's saying a bunch of extra stuff I guess, like, if I were to watch Rally Race and I understand what all of it means, but I'm like, 
I'm just driving, so I don't really don't be paying attention to her too much because I'm like, okay, I know where to drive and stuff, so. Plus, they have, like, the things that top, on top. She's so loud. Is the volume? Volume ain't up that loud. Suck at racing games. Definitely be losing control over my car. This one is a lot easier. I had to say, if you play something like, uh, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Dirt Rally or Dirt Rally 2.0, you'll struggle more with that than this. This is more of an arcade version of the uh, Dirt Rally games. control forza to me i can see what a steering wheel controller a steering wheel controller it's not impossible to control a car in there unless you're driving like the slowest car but with a regular controller i'm like yeah it's easy to me i'm trying to think the only game i think where it was like i lost control you thought forza was hard play that game um a set of course a competition they you talking about a hard uh racing game like that game that game it, it's kind of like they try to make it too realistic at least like with stuff like this they're not making it like they make it somewhat realistic i feel like that game they just trying too hard a solo court hold on for a second i can't spell it uh competency on a part but no that's not how you spell it They have a good stream. All right, Tells, appreciate you for stopping by. Have a good night. Sleep well. It's like, huh? Yeah, because it, it's like a, a low-key racing game. Well, this one that I played is, they came out with, like, another one back, I think, in 2014, just called the Celo Corza. And, uh, that one is, that one, I have to say, it's better than the competition they won. I'm good. But yeah, that is Celo Corza competition they. That game is stupid. I do not like that game. I didn't like the fact that there was like, oh, you, uh, if you're in, like, if you don't go through the pit stops in the game, then you lose. And I'm like, okay, well, if my car is not, there's nothing wrong with it, and I was driving perfectly fine, why do I need to go through a pit stop? Like, unless I'm hearing issues with my car and everything else, and it's like, it makes no sense. Yeah, that game is stupid. I'm like, ah, oh, that's why I just I haven't played that game. I think last time I played that game was like back in May. And I think it was the last time. It was like the either the last time I sh yeah, it was the last time I had streamed it. But I'm like, I just every other game they and like i played other games where they have pit stops they're not forcing me to go through them so it's like while all of a sudden you guys want to be different you force a person to go through a pit stop and it's like bruh the car is not damaged what am i going through a pit stop for so that's why i say i'm like i'm not even playing that game there's gonna be games like that where you are visibly in first place the whole race and they're gonna have it where you lose anyways i'm like i ain't playing that so Dang, it's like how they crash. Keep right over bump. Left six. 
into open hairpin left keep in don't cut 60 over crest left six small crest 60 right three crest left five dip left five keep right over crest left six and open hairpin right long through dip into left four right three left two left one crest don't cut and right two long and keep left over crest night off here get some rest and hit 2 30 a.m here all right too quick right appreciate one, you for stopping by don't cut into left two crest 60 left six into open hairpin left keep in don't cut 60 over crest right six through dip into right four over crest jump maybe right six over crest 100 crest immediate right two into left one keep right over crest and left two long and caution crest immediate right one don't cut 100 right four in the left one bump on exit dip right five over bumps left five right six left five right three don't cut into turn square right and right four left five right six into left four into right three and left six over crest through gate See a cash and flight. Do it. You smart in the fifth grade video. No, I didn't see that. I really been paying attention to too many new videos on YouTube. Not lately. I'm like, I just overall like, I guess like when I just get ready to go and do some reaction videos, and that's when I'll see any new videos. But I haven't really seen no. I've really been paying attention to any new videos. I remember learning this stuff in fifth grade. Yeah, cause they be it be like some like high end like when they do stuff like that it be like the them like preps not prep schools but like them high end schools for fifth graders. I'm like, cause yeah, I think I remember I watched that show one time and I'm all like, when did they teach this in fifth grade? I'm like, I don't remember hearing any of this stuff. So I'm like, nah, either somebody didn't teach me something or they lying on this show. It's like a step before that TV show, uh, Jeopardy. How's that clutch feeling? Doesn't sound good. on Jeopardy. Be fun, I'm probably not gonna know half the answers. Unless it's like subjects that I know, like I probably like I have to feel like I'll do somewhat okay with sports. Then again I'm like there ain't too many things I know about sports, so I'm like probably like modern sports. Um video games, movies, T V shows probably like uh like Rap music, like music, or at least music that I listen to on a regular basis. Uh, what are some other things? Yeah, that'll probably be that'll be about it. Like probably some like content creating uh, stuff too, like Twitch, uh, some Twitch streamer, some YouTube and stuff. But they go up there talking about all oh, this uh, 17th century. Um, like biological science. Uh, what are some other things? I'm like, yeah, they st get on there and start talking on some stuff like that. I'm like, nope. I'm like, that's my cue to leave. I'm like, I know I ain't gonna do good on this show. Into 
open, hairpin left. Cooking recipes. I'm like, yeah, they. I'm like, oh, what? What? How would they even include that on this show? Because I'm like, I feel like cooking recipes, like, maybe if it was like cooking Jeopardy or something. I feel like it'll be kind of like basic too. I feel like because the cooking recipes, I feel like that'd be pretty easy. They'll be all like, oh, like this item is used for this salad. Like they'll say, I don't know how that will work, but I feel like it'll be pretty basic. But it'd be crazy. Like there'll be people on Jeopardy. They'll be on there for like, cause that's how the show is. So I don't know if you like watch it, but. Or like watch it on a regular basis, but they have it where it's like when the person wins and they go on to the next day and they just keep going. There'd be people up on there for like two, three months just playing. And I'm like, bro, like what do you where I'm like, what do you do for a living? They'll be all like, Oh, I'm a car salesman, but they'd be up on there for like two, three months, knowing everything possible to know about like everything in this world. I'm like, I don't even get that. I think the one guy they say he plays um he's like a professional like gambler and he was up on there for like all this time I think one like I think he won over a million dollars because he just bid all his money and stuff I'm like well that would makes a whole like that makes sense but I was like bro it's like I just nah I was like I wouldn't want to be on there for like five minutes I know one show I definitely would have liked to try it out for. I don't even know if that show even comes on anymore. But uh, Ninja Warriors. Bro, I remember there was like... Like younger me. He... Man, I'm telling you. If they had contacted me, probably like now I definitely would have to like train more. But younger me was like, nah, I'm ready. I'm like, you let me know the time and place. I'll be there. Ninja Kelly, Kelly, okay, that's a straight up tongue twist. All right, hold on, rewind. All right, rewind. You ain't got to donate another additional bitch, but let me just, you know, like do my line all over again. Ninja Kelly Cuddy, thank you for the 100 bits. Now I can speak proper English. First time I remember I said your name, I said it fine. I don't know what happened. I think I almost messed up the first time I said it. This time you just caught me lacking, but... I appreciate with the 100 bits, guys. Make sure you go subscribe. Subscribe. This ain't YouTube. Make sure you go follow Ninja Kelly Cut Kelly Cuddy. I'm just gonna make sure you go follow my friend on Twitch. I'm trying to play a game and talk, and it's just. But hopefully, uh, night's going good. Hopefully, your day was chill too. I'm just sitting here talking on like different TV shows and how I think how old was I when I started watching Ninja Warriors I think I was like 12 12 13 year old me definitely would have won I follow all right cool but yeah 12 13 year old me like he was ready he was ready for Ninja Warriors I just realized how foggy it is in this game. Like, why is it so foggy? I'm trying to think where are some other shows I would have tried out for. 
I'm trying to think. Wipeout, I definitely wouldn't have done Wipe. Wipeout is just the comedy version of uh, Ninja Warriors. Like, you only go on that show to fail. I don't think there's ever been anybody on that show, uh, Wipeout, where they actually won and did good. Like, people, they only have people on that show because they know they're going to get laughed at. It's like, have it where they balance in, like, on some ledge, and then they got, like, these punching arms popping out of, uh, walls. Trying to knock them off. And then they catch you by surprise. See, that's why I ain't like... I mean, Wipeout was funny. I liked it, but I just wouldn't have liked it if I had to be on that show. Versus Ninja Warriors, they're all like, okay, let's just test their, you know upper body strength and see if they can pull themselves up a rope or something it's like or how good are they balancing on platforms dang no I'm good that wasn't that wasn't a bad hit There's some other left weird. One. Oh, the one show where I'm like, I don't know. Like that show is like it's questionable because I just, I wouldn't want to be on the show. Like unless, well, even then they probably have it where the host got be weird too. But there's that one show where it's like Survivor, but they call it Naked and Afraid, and you out in the wilderness, but naked, like nothing. And you there with people, and I'm like, nah, like, I couldn't, like, maybe if the prize was, like, a lot, like, if they said, like, the prize is, like, 10 million dollars, then I'm like, alright, um, I might, I might have to, you know, do this wilderness experience, uh, for 10 mil, but, I think I heard of that, yeah, that would be the, I think, if it, if they, if it's, like, 10 million, I'll do it, but anything less, I'm like, nah, I don't know, man questionable i'm like at least have it i'm like if they're gonna be all like okay like nah it's like prize is only for a million i'm like okay well i i gotta wear like some boxers or something I'm trying to think. Those dating shows. I don't know if I would try out for those dating shows. Like the batch or no, wait, which one is like where the it's like the bunch of well I no, nah, cause I think both yeah, both would work. Cause they have it where you're like you're the guy. Nah, I wouldn't want to whichever the one if I'm like one of the guys, because I know there's the bachelor and then there's the bachelorette. And I think the bachelor is the one where it's like it's a bunch of guys and then it's the one girl cuz I wouldn't want to do the one where I'm just the one guy and then it's a bunch of girls cuz if a fight breaks loose I'm like and they're going to be looking at me I'm I'm hey I'm like that's just that's just too much Or what's the other ones there's like 90 day fiance or something like that Trying to think of some other dating shows. Right three, left two, left six, into open hairpin left, keep in, don't cut, sixty over crest, left six, small crest, sixty, right three, crest, left five, dip, eighty, bump, immediate open. So then one called married at first sight. Oh yeah, I knew there was something where it was like there was people that had to get like married. For the uh, TV show. I don't know I would do that either. That's another show where I'm like, nah, because that's going to be written down like on documented paper and stuff. Like, I'm married to this individual. Because if I don't really know her like that, I'm like, mm. I'm like, yeah, I definitely see at the end of this season we're going to be getting a divorce. I don't know about you. I was actually just thinking that. I'm like, that would be honestly a pretty solid... Uh, 
Dayton show, but like a Dayton show for content creators. Where it's, ooh, like a dating show. They set me up with something crazy. I'm like, oh, yeah. But no, like a dating show of content creators, but you got to date somebody that's doing something different than your content creating. But you overall see like if it works out. So it'll be like a like a makeup artist, but she got to date like a like a pranking person. Or a pranking person got to date like a gamer. Or gamer got to date like a... I'm trying to think, where's some like other... But like just something like that, I feel like that'd be a pretty. I I feel like it'll be a pretty funny show. It'll be funny, but at the same time, it's like let's see if these uh you know people overall are gonna be with each other. Phil pranks in gaming would be too close. So pranks their Marion Tech reviewer. Yeah, but still, I'm like, I feel like if it's one of those like annoying um people that be doing pranks, like, oh, let me act like I just threw their PlayStation like off the balcony, and this person, the gamer, got like they already got like anger issues from like playing like crap games and stuff. Me personally, I wouldn't want to date no girl. She's constantly going around like pranking me and stuff. I'm like, nah, I don't know about that. I'm like, I'm sorry, but I'm like, you, and it's like, and then if that's like their thing, cause it's, cause it then, ooh, there'll be like a twist where it's like, you either got to drop your profession, we're well not profession, but you just got to drop what you're doing as a content creator and do some else, uh, something else for the sake of the relationship, or you can walk away and continue doing what you're doing. I'm telling you, like, I feel like that'd be a pretty solid show. Because I'm like, nah, like, you're going to have to drop that pranking stuff. And she's like, no, I'm not doing it. I built my whole fan base off of, you know, pranking and things. I'm like, well, guess that's the end of the uh, relationship. Then some, like, you know how, like, when MTV, when they kind of like that music that they be having in, like, Catfish. It ain't really, like, sad. But at the same time, it kind of gives off that vibe. It's kind of interesting. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I think that would be a pretty solid show. Or it could be like two gamers where it's like a Fortnite streamer and a Warzone streamer. And then they like, you know, but it's like somebody that like strongly hates Warzone. And then it's somebody that strongly hates Fortnite. But they got to like date and things, but they like constantly dissing each other's like video game and stuff. I feel like that relationship can work. They probably had where I was up on there, like, cause I'd probably say, like, I'd be more into, like, racing games if they were to ask me, like, oh, what type of like, reactor in a commentary channel person. That, if it's somebody where it's, like, they doing stuff talking about reaction videos, I don't think that's gonna work. Like, if I had to date somebody, like, like, uh, that was, like, a hater of mine, nah, that wouldn't work. That would not work. That relationship would be so toxic for no reason. If you want to get more cars in the garage, prize money here is going to help. We'd be like sitting down, kind of like getting to know each other. She's like, oh, so what type of uh, content do you do? I'm like, I make reaction videos. Pranks during the commentary channel. See, I'm like, it's stuff like that. See, like, now you kind of going along with it. Like, but yeah, I can see right now. She's like, oh, what type of content do you do? I'm like, oh, I do reaction videos. Then she's like kind of making a face and then that dramatic music starts. Then cuts to an interview of her. She was all like, I didn't know he um, stole content from uh, creators. She looks me in my face. She's like, oh, you steal content. I'm like, well, at least I'm like adding something to it. I'm not, you know, I'm like, you are also stealing content. 
I'm like, you can't think of nothing for yourself. I'm like, yeah, let's let's see you. But see, that's the thing. Though. I feel like I would have to be the host of that show because I have so many different YouTube channels. So I, I don't feel like I would be... Because I'm like, I do like all aspects of content creating, so... Oh, or it can, ooh, so it can be, okay, this is what I honestly think it can be. It could be, like, I call it, like, creator dating, right? Like, or content creator dating, or, no, creator dating. Creator dating sounds um, much more better, but creator, a channel that does fake pranks and the one that, ooh, no, that's a good one. No, that is a good one. But, no, like, they have, it's, like, creator dating, and they all in the house, and then they just kind of, like, seeing, you know, but I, nah, it has to be, no, nah, never mind, no, nah, never mind, I'm like, cause I just start thinking about, I'm like, there's way too many dating shows where they all in one house, and I'm like, this is gonna be another, like, Jersey Shore type show, so I'm like, I ain't even gonna fool with that, so, but like, it just be an episode, just focus on, like, two people for, like, an hour, ooh, but that, no, like, a, a fake pranking person, and then the real prank, that would be, that would be kinda solid. Because you know the fake pranking person would be all like, you actually are putting yourself in harm. I'm like, I'm just having to pay people that like, you know, fake put me in harm. They're like, yeah, but it's not real. So, I'm like, you're you're not, you're eventually going to get exposed for being the um, fake prankster. I'm like, okay, well, it's like, you're going to end up getting yourself hurt and you ain't going to be able to do pranking videos no more. It's like, I'm going to have like a long, uh, leg or long longevity for my channel. It's like, you're going to get shut down because your pranks, you, you know, went overboard with your uh, real pranks. They up there arguing and stuff. I don't feel like that relationship will work. It's just too much of a conflicting relationship. It's like I'm trying to think of some other. Oh, I definitely on if for that show, I definitely would have to have somebody like Joe Button on that show, like as a like as a contestant trying to find somebody to date. Cause technically he's a content creator. He got like his uh podcast and stuff. So technically, I think he's already in a relationship. But like, if Joe Button was single, bro, I definitely would have to have him on that show. Cause that, I would pair him up with anybody. It wouldn't even matter. I'm like, nah. I just know that it's gonna be funny. That definitely. That I probably feel like that would have to be the first episode. And then it just all the other episodes would just kind of be like like whoever. But have it where, like, Joe Button, he has to, like, date a girl that plays video games. He's sitting here yelling at her. This girl and broke down in tears, started crying. She's like, why are you yelling at me for playing video games? She's a good couple. Someone who does singing covers and singing with a beat-making YouTuber. I feel like that. I feel like that's a relationship where it's like, okay, you know that that's going to work, like, from the start of it. Unless, like, they're making, like, different types of, like, like if the person, she sings, like, country music. I don't think, I don't know. Like, I, it definitely, they definitely have to be in the same, like, you know, genre when it comes to music. But it's like, if she's out here singing, like, country music or, like, heavy metal, and then that person's making, like, EDM or, like, rap, like... Cause I feel like I feel like that'd be kind of a, like a interesting like and then seeing like the creators kind of like unlock like a new field of content creating. Cause I feel like somebody like that like a beat if me if it was me I would like okay like how can I make like a heavy metal beat or like a country beat? Then it's like okay like you know I've gained I you know got into a relationship and I learned how to make country music. So I feel like I feel like that'd be a solid show because it's like you're getting into a relationship and you're learning a new form of uh, cr uh, content creating. 
Bro, I swear I'm about to call up like a hundred networks tomorrow. They own type of genre. I know, right? I'm about to call up like A&E. I'm going to call up like, uh, what's that one? E, e News. Because they be having like reality TV shows. I'm going to call up like MTV. Adult Swim. Like, nah. I'm 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 a I'm a definitely like invest in this TV show or like just like remember it. It's like if not watch watch tomorrow, they're gonna be like a preview for a TV show that gets released. They're like, oh content creator dating show. I'm like, nah, they were definitely in my stream last night and they stole my idea. Or it could just be one of those like big franchise um dating shows. Uh the real content creators of Washington. A just chatting streamer and a cod streamer I feel could work too. Yeah, it could. It possibly could. Well then again, like if it's like a cod streamer that's like mad quiet and they want like dead silence when they're playing COD, and then you got somebody in their ear talking like the whole stream. Cause me, I feel like like I kind of like blend in both, like where I'm chatting and playing the game. Hey, that went really well. So it's like you got this person trying to focus, and then the person's in their ear talking like on some random stuff. Yeah, I could see that relationship. I don't, I don't know if that relationship will work out. Girl playing the video game, she was all like, he was talking the whole stream. It's like I couldn't focus on the game. Or if they playing like Apex or something, because Apex they be like deranking people in there. It's like I derank like three, four times. Oh, that'd be funny. Gamer that rages in ASMR YouTube. That relationship wouldn't work out. You got somebody that's quiet, and then you got somebody that's loud. Yeah, that's not gonna work. She's trying to like rage and like a quiet and uh, that's not gonna work. I wouldn't even, that would be so creepy hearing somebody rage and whisper like, nah, okay, I'm like, that wouldn't work. Or she's like, or it, like whoever it is that's doing the ASMR content, it's like the person that rage is trying to like brings them out of their shell and be like, hey, you're gonna have to use your outside voice. I feel like one would probably a gamer and a makeup artist. I feel like that could. Well, I feel like that probably already exists. Teaches them uh, to rage so much. Yeah, that's the thing though. It's like when a person. I feel like the first time they rage on the video game, there there ain't no going back. There is no going back. I feel like they can calm down, but like they still gonna like talk at a high volume. Cause I used to rage on video games, and I'm like, I, you know, somebody te trying to teach me to whisper when playing. I'm, uh, uh, no, I couldn't do that. But I definitely would like to see like a makeup artist and a gamer. It's like how they would like, how that would work, or no, like a content creator that doesn't support gaming, and then a gamer. That def now that will be an episode they'll sell. Cause no, I remember there was that one girl. She was on that podcast talking about like, oh, real men don't play video games. I would love to see her date somebody that plays video games. Cause you already know she's gonna get into it. It's gonna be halfway through that episode. She's gonna be all like, yeah, at first I didn't really understand it, but then I was like, I, I, I gotta, I won in uh, Warzone and it, it felt good winning. Left 
and left six over bumps. 60, left six, bump, crest, right five, long over bumps. And left six over bumps. One person I actually would love to see on that Dayton show, there was that, that YouTuber, that racist YouTuber that I had beef with years ago. And have him up on there dating a white woman. Oh, that would be... I feel like it would have to be like a... I'm trying to think, like... Is somebody that can, like, take some, like, crazy comments that he'll say. But I think that would be a pretty funny episode. Like, I'm trying to think, like, who would it... Like, who would it honestly be? It has to be somebody that can, like, put up with crap like that. But he actually, you know what? No, he had, like, an issue with, like, white women, um, black women, freaking everybody. So it was like, I'd just like to see him up on there just dating whoever, because you know he's going to have a problem with whatever they doing. Or no, then there is the one content creator. She's been blowing up a lot lately. I think she was just recently on the, the Jimmy Fallon show, but not her, but like a farming uh, content creator and then a gamer. Because I, you just don't, unless like you hear like a gamer, they're all like, oh yeah, I grew up on the farm. But like if it's somebody like myself where it's like, you know, you grew up in the city and only time you've been to farms is when you're like visiting them. Yeah, I feel like that can, I feel like that'd be like a good episode. A farmer trying to play a video game, and then a gamer trying to um, go far, like, you know, do some farming stuff. Or actually, you know it though. Somebody, cause I'm like, I feel like that that definitely would be a, a good gamer and a vlogger. I feel like that kind of already has happened. I feel like I've seen some like vloggers and cause yeah, there's like gamers they be doing like vlogging stuff at times. So, but no, so a TikToker they only be like they only post like like what one video a day, and it's like a 15 second dancing video and one of those like 12 hours like a 12 hour streamer. Like somebody that be constantly doing like subathons, 24 hour streams, 12 hour streams. That TikToker would be so drained out and tired from like, like, bro, I only work for only like 15 seconds of the day. Like, you, bro, you working like a good portion of the day. Oh, you know it'd be another good content creating show? A TV show where content creators, that's like, they're already doing something else. But then they gotta like, build a channel off of a, like, you know, off of another, like, profession. So like, it'll be like a gamer will have to do like, makeup tutorials. And then it's like, then like, have it like, set up where it's like, okay. And then like, so I'll have it where it's like the, I'll have it where it's like kind of being promoted on my channel. And then I'm like, okay, like, if you gain 
um, 100,000 uh, subscribers, you know, by the end of the month. Then it's like you keep the channel and you decide whether or not like you want to keep doing makeup tutorials or continue playing video games. But I feel like, you know, they go through all that time and trouble. It's like they're going to probably they, they may pick up on it, but I feel like that would be good. But it's like they like choose whether or not they want to like do something different. Chief Engineer says just ignore this body damage running fine. That'll be interesting too. Yeah. Three, two, one. Brian came up with like three good TV shows so far because I'm like the content, um, like creator dating. Like, choose, like, your content creating, uh... Oh, I'll, I'll have it where it's, like, that, too. It's, like, choose your content creator. That'll be the show. That'll be the name of the show where it's, like, you choose your profession. And then I was, like, then, like, a reality TV show. Where it's kind of, like... It's kind of, like... It's a game show. It's a game show. Fake prank person having to do real pranks for months. And they decide they could continue. Yeah, that. Pretty much, yeah, that. But... No, then there was the third show where it was like, uh, like bank robbers. But it's not like you're not an actual bank robber, but it's like you're, uh, it's like a stage bank robbery. And then, like, whatever money you leave with without getting caught, then that's the money you, that you get to keep. But if you get caught, then you, like, you lose out on the money and on the show. But it's like you come up with like a plan. So there's like, ooh, so it's like, it's like not actual, it's so it's like people they are pretending to be bank robbers and seeing if they can actually go through with it and then they get like some friends and a bunch of other people along if they want to and then it's like real cops that has to like you know like still use like their ways of like being a cop to like to not de-escalate but like to i guess handle the situation because that bank robbery show i've been thinking about that for like years i was like that definitely would be a show i would want to try out for But it's like kind of like that uh video game payday 2 but like a reality version so it's like you and some friends y'all like planning it out like how a bank robbery is gonna go down i already know if it's like if i gotta invite any of the people that i actually know in real life i'm like nah i'm like you guys i probably it'll probably be like one of my friends because i feel like i i, I can rely on him I think that's about it. I think it's one friend and that's it. So it looks like it's just going to be a duo bank robbery because anybody else, I'm like, nah, I can see right now they're going to get me all caught up. Over 
bump, left four long, through dips, and left three over bump, right four over bump, right four, and left four through dip, caution, right three through dip, 100, keep middle over big jump, 60, crest, 60, caution, keep left over crest, jump, left four, into right five through dip into left four over crest 150 to finish all right get her to the control I feel like playing, actually, you know what? Nah. Play something else real quick. I hear all like these things pop up. Give this game another chance. Dincom or something like that. I like how in like most like video games, they always think like the one like go to black hair dude is an afro. I'll go with that. Wait. So for other dreads. I'm like, bro, it's like, dang, black people have different hairstyles. is definitely trades yeah at least but at least with gta like they're more friendly when it comes to like like they have it where it's like okay like you know you can have like a buzz cut and you know a bunch of other different hairstyles what is it 2k is like that then there's just other games out there where they're all like nope That must be the game. Yeah, that's the game. I was all like, why am I hearing like a helicopter noise? 2K hairstyle has been pretty good the past few years. I'm great for that. Yeah. Yeah, they do good with all the other stuff. But it comes to gameplay. Nope. I heard this game is supposed to be like, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Animal Crossing, and then this other game called Stardew Valley.
what kind of laughing is that? This is good though. I ain't buying it. I'm like, if it gets four or five stars, I'll probably look into it, but I'm not gonna buy it. That is the most weirdest laughing. That is so weird. That was 4 a.m. All right, Illy. Appreciate you for being here. See you later, man. I have one time. I think he's still off. Check the map and talk again. Oh, okay. Wait, what? I feel like like I could just set it here, but that might not be good. It's a whole bee. We're the big old giant birds. I'm like, ain't no way those are like crows or nothing, or they might be eagles. I'm like, nah, y'all keep that over there. Can I like rotate it? I'll oh, ease it. Wait, this wasn't even my tent? No, she didn't. She... Wow. Oh, that woman is crazy. Can he swim? That's a whole animal. That's a kangaroo? Bro, nah. Can you like pet the animals? Why are the animals scared, bro? Like I'm friendly. Nah, them things look cracked out.
think just like an area where I can place my yeah, I'm gonna put my tent right here A little far out, but that's how I like it. I should have talked to her, the, the Fletch lady. What is that supposed to be, like his grandmother or something? I save. Hopefully this game got auto save. Traveling trader. Nope. Bro, that laughing man. Hopefully these animals don't go crazy one day and they just start attacking me and jumping me and stuff. I'm like, I ain't, I am mentally prepared for some stuff like that. I swear my character looked like a little kid. I'm like, he should not be out here by himself, surrounded by kangaroos and birds. I know that ain't safe. And butterflies. She just breathed on me. It's like, lady, you can't be breathing on people like that.
Bro, they're laughing. Damn, my character broke. She said she saw some fruit. It's like, woman, where did you see some fruit at? What's this? It's a shell. I wonder if this game auto saves, cause like if it doesn't, I'm gonna be sad that I just did all of this. Oh crap! Um, dang. Why you gotta do stuff like that, man? I'm like, dang, it's like I gotta like craft a bed or something. Find something to eat. Alright. I don't know how that's gonna work, but okay. Should just jump in that water and just try to like grab a hold of a fish, but I don't think that's gonna work. Like, I want to go over there, but I'm like, oh, I don't know what's in that water. I'm like, it ain't just, water ain't trustworthy. I already got, like, um, big old giant, like, squids and stuff. I ain't even, I ain't even trying to fool with that. Is there like a bed here? Cause I'm like, fam, it's like. She ain't got no bed. Where is that? Okay. If she's expecting me to travel this big old giant island to find some fruit, it's like, woman, you're gonna starve. So I can't buy no sleeping. I swear, man. I don't see myself playing that game. I'll just get Animal Crossing. Be normal. I'm like, that game is just... It shouldn't have it set up. Where you got forced to go and travel across some island. Don't know that island. The thing I'm going to say, I'm like, man, I ain't got time for all that. So... Just going to find somebody to raid... Or 
course, everybody's thing want to play ads. I think I'm gonna raid my friend Queen Mars. She is currently playing. Why is this thing all cash? She's currently playing Warzone. So make sure y'all go follow her. Show her some love and support. Be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, until next time, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you everybody that stopped by tonight's stream. Stay tuned for the next stream and peace.